beautiful people what's up welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in today's video it's super exciting we're going to be doing a first impression and review of the new ColourPop pretty fresh hydrating foundation so if you're interested in checking out how this foundation looks on my complexion and just seeing what my thoughts are in testing it out make sure to stay tuned and just keep on watching i'm super excited you guys know ColourPop is one of my favorite 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 like probably my most favorite makeup company and brand um i love them they have grown so much over the years they're super super affordable they are always launching new products they have such high quality for the price that you pay for and there's literally something for everyone they've expanded so so much over the years and i'm happy to continue supporting them and today we have the new pretty fresh <laughs> hydrating foundation so here is what the outer packaging looks like it's a nice like peachy box color there's some information on the side panel here information on the back and information on the side so um just want to talk a little bit about the foundation before i open it up so you guys have all the nice lovely details this foundation retails for 16 us dollars uh, you can pick it up at ulta ulta online or even if in store if your store is open you can also now pick this up on colourpop's website they just launched it on their website today but they also do have 42 different shades so that is amazing we love a good shade range because everybody should be able to find their foundation shade i think that is absolutely great we love that all right so i'm just gonna read a couple of things from the box here um this is one fluid ounce as well i forgot to mention that that's a standard size that most foundations come in so one fluid ounce 30 ml uh, it is dermatologist tested it is oil free it is vegan so, so the claims are that it's a hydrating foundation with skin perfecting medium to buildable coverage for natural looking healthy skin so the key thing about this foundation is that it is ideal for all skin types they claim it has hyaluronic acid in it which is known to hydrate and support healthy skin it also has coconut water which is known to support hydration and skin softness so that's super super great all right let's talk about shade the shade that i picked up as you can see here is medium dark 147w so i have a warm undertone so i prefer foundations in the w range so i picked up this shade just by going online and looking at the swatches they have a pretty good um way for you to try to figure out if you are purchasing online though I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys what the bottle looks like. So here is the bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the center of the camera. It is a, pla a hard plastic bottle. It says pretty fresh color pop hydrating foundation. It comes with a clear cap and a pump. We need a pump, we love a pump. Any foundation that doesn't have a pump, it's like, why? So this is great. This has a nice pump and it's relatively um, compact probably easy to travel with again that hard plastic material so it should last very well so i am going to be using my sonia kashik sponge to apply this on my face the sponge is super soft it is not wet when it does get wet it doubles in size you can pick this up from target um i forget how much it costs but it's a really really soft really great sponge and it gets twice the size if you wet it i'm just gonna use it dry today i'm gonna go half of my face on this side with the sponge and then on the other side of my face i'm going to use a brush so you guys can see what the difference is i'm going to be going in with this real techniques brush this is their buffing brush and so i'll use this on this side so i'm going to shake this up 
I hope this is a good shade match. It is, it can be tricky online, like pictures and things can be deceiving. And I'm gonna go ahead and pump out on the back of my hand. A couple pumps. So right off the bat, you can see that it is a runny um, foundation, but it's hydrating, so I feel like that's why it's gonna be kind of runny. I'm just gonna dip my brush and we're gonna, there's the swatch on my skin. It feels really lightweight. I'm just looking at my mirror on the side here. If you see me looking away, and I'm just buffing that in. This is actually a pretty good color match too. Buffing that in. Just take a little bit more and get this forehead area and up into my hairline a bit. This is a really good, oh my God. Do you guys see this? This is so, nice and fresh literally like the name says it's so gives you like it's so dewy like it gives you like a nice glow and i have dry skin typically i'm not an oily person so if you have oily skin i'm not sure if you'll like this but you could always like set it really well with a powder i usually set my foundation with powder anyway because i prefer more of a matte finish but this i am liking and it doesn't feel like i put anything on my face it's so thin so that was like two pumps i still have a little bit left over on the back of my hand so i'm just gonna take what's left on the back of my hand and kind of briefly sweep it down my neck but that those two pumps covered like this whole half of my face really well and I prefer like more of a full coverage because I have a lot of redness in my skin sometimes due to my rosacea and stuff like that so I just like full coverage foundation but this looks really nice do you guys see it looks so good wow Okay, let's go in with the sponge on the other side. So, I'm still a little bit new to using like sponges to do foundation for up until like more recently, I've been preferring to use a brush, but I actually really like this sponge. So let's see how it works. And again, I am using this dry. It could make a difference in cheering out the coverage if you wet your sponge. But for me, I prefer to use it dry. I'm actually going to just pump it on right directly on the sponge. I'm just gonna take like two pumps and just start tapping it in to my skin on this side. side looks good too. Get up here. Just trying to blend everything out. <laughs> Bring it down my neck. Okay, that actually was really pretty quick and easy to do. One thing I noticed, I don't know if you guys can tell, one thing I noticed with using the sponge, it doesn't look quite as dewy as the brush side. Like you see how much more glowy this side looks. The side is not as glowy and it just could be that the coverage is just a little bit sheer on this side. You can see the product on the the end of my sponge but it still looks really really nice it still looks really good wow 
and the color matches so good. I really like this foundation. Oh my gosh, this might be my new like every day, especially because like I said, I have dry skin. It's really hot in the summertime. This is lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. Like it looks so good. So good. If I had to pick, I would say I like the brush side more, but I'm not mad at the sponge side either. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is just pause here. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face off camera so I can see how it works with my powders and everything. And I'll come back and show you guys the final look and then give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, be right back. Hey guys, I am back with my full face finished. This is the final and completed look that I did. Nothing too crazy, but my powders and everything layered so beautifully. Like, I'm super zoomed in on you guys so you guys can see how this foundation looks close up. It's gorgeous. It doesn't look cakey. It still doesn't feel heavy. Um, I didn't even use concealer. Like, I didn't even use concealer, guys. And I almost always use concealer with my foundation. But I literally just put a little bit of setting powder on because I always set my foundation. I don't ever not set my foundation. That's part of my normal routine. Um, and it still looks hydrated. It doesn't look cakey. I put some bronzer, blush, and a little bit of highlight. I put a little bit of eyeshadow on, some liner, and a little bit of mascara. And lastly, I put on my Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Balm. And I love my face. Like, my face looks so good. I'm so excited. You, it's just like, satisfying when you purchase a new foundation and you literally fall in love with it and it's like affordable and it can be your new like go-to or your new everyday so literally you guys probably already know my final thoughts on this foundation absolutely 100 percent highly recommend you adding this to your collection if you're in the market for a new foundation or you just want to try something out that is hydrating this is gonna be great for all you dry skin people out there. Um, for all you oily skin people out there, I can't speak to whether or not this is going to be for you just because I know oily skin people tend to not um, lean towards hydrating foundations and more towards matte foundations. This might be good for you as long as you set it. Just keep that in mind. Again, $16, it's really great. 42 shades, it's vegan has all these good ingredients in it for your skin. I'm just like, yay, ColourPop. So that's really all. Um, I think the results speak for itself. You guys, thank you again so much for tuning into my video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you would join my fam here on YouTube. And um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can just be notified of any of my future uploads and you don't miss any videos in case you're looking out for them. I wish you all the best. Peace, love, and blessings, as I always say. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.